everybody. Today I'm going to show you how we can create some um, very creative portraits using just some fruit and vegetables to print with and some acrylic paint. We're going to do these in the style of Giuseppe Archimboldo. Now he was an Italian painter in the Renaissance period and fascinated by nature he created something very unusual at the time portraits made entirely of fruit and vegetables or fish or other man-made objects such as books. You can see from the examples just how talented and creative he was. He was very famous at the time and everybody loved his work but after he passed away for over 400 years nobody really knew of him and he became sort of neglected with his work until the Surrealists a hundred years ago. They rediscovered him, and today he is more popular than ever. So, we're going to actually create these portraits by printing with the fruit and vegetables. You may have already guessed that already. And then we're going to work into them with colour pencil or just in tonal pencil, as you saw from the examples. You may want to, once you've cut up some fruit and vegetables, blot them so that the uh, moisture isn't too much and they print better, less, less watery. And then all you're going to need is just a small amount of acrylic, uh, a brush, and that should be it. This is as, as difficult as it gets at this stage. So I'm gonna have a go at creating a face. So just a little tiny bit of paint, evenly over the surface of the fruit or vegetable. Okay, so once you've blotted the excess and you're happy with that, you can have a go at just printing. So you may want to reapply a bit more paint if you're using the same object again. Again, you can blot off the excess if you want to. Now, if you wanted to, you could draw out a shape so you can follow some sort of pencil guidelines. But I quite like the idea of just seeing how it develops and not getting too precious over what it's going to look like. Because remember, you're going to work into it with pencil and pen. This is all about being creative and experimenting at the end of the day. Having a bit of fun. So I've got some rather small bro broccoli here. Again, get rid of the excess. And I'm thinking that's going to make a nice eyebrow. Oh yeah, I love that texture. Let's see, I'll add a little bit more paint just before I print again. Make sure I get it the right way. Perfect. <laughs> Oh. Mm. 
So there you have it, my Archimboldo inspired portrait. I hope you give it a go and you've enjoyed it. I've got a few more examples to show you first before I go. So this was the same technique, colour pencils. Um, the only difference as you can see is I painted a bit of a black background because I wanted to see if it would make the character stand out more. I can't decide which one I like, uh, plain background or background. And then lastly, it's a couple of tonal examples. Archimboldo's work could be very dark at some sometimes, so I quite like the tonal ones, although I think I prefer the colour. It gives a real flavour of the fruit. And there you go. Well, that's it for this time. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you have a go at creating your own fruit portrait. Please subscribe for future creative ideas and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Take care. Bye bye.